Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever we want. So did you guys Game of Thrones? <laughs> no! No more! No more! You need to catch up. I know, I've heard. Fun, what show do you like right now? I just finished two seasons of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel that everyone's been bugging me. Oh, is it really good? I, I've watched it the first really two or three episodes over and over because I'm like, I can't get into okay. this No, so, so it was the same thing. It took about eight episodes. Where I was like, what is the big deal about this show? Why is everyone right. coming? And it won so many awards. And then, <laughs> yeah, and it won so many oh. awards. And then after the eighth episode, all the payoff happened. And then second season, you're hooked because all the characters have really good like depth and arcs like you are invested in every single character what show is like just about her marvelous marvelous mrs. mrs. Maisel Maisel is it on Netflix it is um, on no prime Amazon Amazon Prime oh, really? yeah. oh you're right you're right mm -hmm. yeah Casey and I watched a few I don't even know how far we got into it but then like her like the main character kind of got overwhelming for me where I'm like yeah oh, she's kind of annoying I can't deal yeah, with yeah and she talks really really fast and yeah. I'm just like Bleh. she gets better she has nice tits oh, <laughs> yeah she's a, a fantastic body like her body is like yeah. the perfect shape I just can't stop staring at her it. boobs and are so perfect. so many different outfits I love those so outfits. Me it. too. Yeah. Like girls can, uh, like, that's what us appreciate another girl's beauty, almost unheterosexually. Yeah. And but still be heterosexual because I don't think a guy, a guy can look at a dude that's buff like, yo, that fool's jack, and that's where it ends. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but, I don't feel like I need to keep watching that. Yeah. <laughs> that's how influence influencers happen because well, after watching, I noticed I slowly started dressing more like her or like doing my makeup or hair like her. Oh like, wow. I started wearing more of those ties oh, in yeah. my hair. You and I was like, really I didn't even notice I was, yeah. I didn't even notice I was doing that, but I started putting on more lipstick instead of lip gloss. Like it was, it was weird. Then I, I think that's how influence works because I was like, she's so pretty and her body is so like I can see that happening to guys too because then they'll be like, oh, that guy's wearing that jacket. I want that too. It looks yeah. dope. See, if you saw Game of Thrones, there's a lot of women oh you could appreciate. God. Like for example, I've seen them all naked. I can't buy any of their clothes. Miss Sande, oh dude, the, oh, she's so fucking fine, dude. I swear. Have you seen her naked? Oh yeah, you saw her naked. Oh, she's so fucking bad. She's my favorite person ever, dude. I fucking love her. Oh my God, you're gonna break the microphone. Who cares? She is. Danny's right hand girl. Curly hair. Oh. She is probably one of the she's prettiest beautiful. girls I've ever seen in my life. And you know life. she's never got some dick too, so. Uh, no. Yeah, she never oh, did. Yeah. She never got it. <laughs> she never did. She's so frustrated. Yeah. yeah. Well, he just, well, on that episode, he ate her out, though. Oh, yeah. So he's like, does it work? That's a good man. He's like, you know, that dude is actually We do other things. Um, Grey Worm? Grey Worm is, in real life, he's a he's like a really famous musician. Oh, that's wow. tight. Okay. So interesting that they had Podrick sing, but not him. I don't have anything left to say. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I see some great titties there, is what I'm saying. Oh, on Game of Thrones? Well, I, I made titties. the comment of titties. She no. didn't make the comment uh, of titties. The Red Witch. Her tits are nice too. The, but like when she becomes a grandma though, that made me throw up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, Just yeah. a little bit. We just can't seem to not talk about Game of Thrones. I know. I, sorry. Wait, so do you guys watch any other shows? Wait. Uh, the Good Doctor. I watched The Good Umbrella Doctor. Umbrella Academy. I fucking love Umbrella Academy. I gotta watch that again. I watched the, the first episode, or we did, and we couldn't get into it. So we maybe gotta try what it again. What is it about it that it turned just, you off? It was so cheesy in the beginning. Hmm. I agree. I, was, I, I wasn't digging it either, but then the more I watched it, I'm like, I could it's see it. It's got like a dark it. cartoony style. It's very revolutionary. Yeah. B because it's not your typical superhero type show. You know, it's, It seemed pretty damn superhero. I mean, pretty typical. For shows that I like or dislike now, I don't even have a reason for it. It's just like, why do you dislike it? Because I don't like it. That's about it. I've just it. been binging so many shows, because every know. time I finish, there's I like need to find a new show, and then I finish that really fast, too. Game See, of Thrones is the only, have time. Game of Thrones is the only <laughs> one I cannot get through. I can't get through it. I know, but it's like when I sit down, I'm like, what do I want to watch? It's never like, ooh, I'm dying to watch that really boring one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like, That's kind of how I feel the about show. the Ozarks. Like, oh. I've been wanting to get into it. Did you watch it. Ozarks? No, so I we love saw, Ozark. I just saw like that for like too. first five minutes. I'm like, fuck, this is boring. <laughs> it's boring. It doesn't. You, you know, some oh, shit's crazy. about to happen in the first five minutes. It's boring for me. Oh really? Yeah, maybe. That's why I always it. ask. I always have to ask someone why they don't like it or what turned them off yeah. because I want to see what they see. Mm -hmm. no I didn't like sometimes. the mood, like the tone that they set. Uh, it was yeah, like, I, like I mean, not to debate them or anything, just to just to understand what is it that makes. I don't like cheesy acting. Like that's exactly what it is for me. If the acting's bad, I can't. 
can't watch that's it. That's why Umbre um, Umbrella Academy was That hard. acting's so good in See, that that's what's, what's interesting is because you both don't like cheesy acting, but yeah. the way you see cheesy because acting is different. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say yeah. it doesn't matter. No, that's why it's interesting. <laughs> the, you know the actor that's very disgruntled, and then he comes back, he's like, what are you here? I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. No like, someone needs to kick his ass. Oh, like the guy with the knife. And then there's the really buff No one likes the buff guy either. So those two characters, nobody really likes them. That's all they needed. And I was like, these guys are fucking obnoxious. Yeah, so the, the the, don't pay attention to them. The that other hard. Don't pay attention yeah. to the acting. But like, there were hardly in any <laughs> scenes after. Like, well, my, I couldn't. My, my, so my you agree like then? They're cheesy. Either. I didn't like those two actors. I didn't like Robert Sheehan acting either because he plays the same person. Who? Robert Sheehan. Which one? He's that? the one that um the drug addict brother. Oh. He plays the same oh, person. He was annoying too. <laughs> I didn't like him at first, and then he became my favorite character. He oh. he's really good. Yeah, he's one of the best characters. Yeah, I agree. But now you guys see where I'm coming from. Sure. Then that's I guess the same. Like he wanted to know what stopped you, and yeah, I that makes it. sense. Yeah. But I'm telling you, everything is so good, it's and like, the writing is so good. It's like you for Game of Thrones. Like for me, I like time pieces. I like stuff like that. I like fighting. Oh, I like no, that. Yeah. Right. So any little any little thing, I, I can get past it. Yeah. Right. Because I already like that world. I see. So superhero stuff, it's not my forte. Like I don't really like it. Like I, I can don't love enjoy superhero it stuff. For fun. But but so I already go into it with that. So now I think subconsciously I'm looking for any little thing where I'm like I knew it was gonna. I like it. Okay, so, so the tone cool? reminds me of the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel where it's kind of cartoony and like a little bit heightened, but still believable, mm. you know? And so maybe you got thrown off because it is kind of cartoony, like in that sense that it's like comic booky, yeah. but it's it's it becomes more believable and it, and like you get invested. The arcs are really fucking good. Yeah, the arcs are They're really good. So, but see like back to my point, it's just People just like what they like. Exactly. Like yeah. The reason why yeah. you don't like it is also the reason why she likes yeah, it, but right. you guys are still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, saying. absolutely. Like when, when I try to explain like shows on why I like, I just leave it like this. I like because I like it because I can, the reasons why you like it are probably the reasons why I like film, but I just don't see what you see. Right, right. So it's such, it's such a, like I'm trying to. People I, just want to know that you have shitty taste and I have better taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah. I think no. that's it. That's, what that's I figured out, it no, it's just like sometimes we just fuck with things and we just fuck with it because we fuck with it. Oh, and that's yeah. why art's so good. I, I mean, is that I it's so interpretive. Everyone. I love yeah. bad quality shit because it's bad quality. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes like, it's fun because it's yeah, so when bad. When it's campy and stuff. Yeah. And then also we, we there's another layer added to what you were saying because we're all friends. We we all assume that we should all enjoy. Yeah, it like the same thing together so we can talk about it and bond on it more. And then when we don't. We're like, why? I thought we were. You know, what's, yeah. you know what's funny though? Because like yeah. people will accept this when it comes to food, but when it comes to content, watching TV and things like that, it becomes a lot more touchier. Because it, it comes back to like, people like me like shows like this. So your people like me, you should like the shows that oh, I like. Oh, fuck no. No yeah. one's going to connect with the shit I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Umbrella Academy. You like Game of Thrones? That's what I watch, and like, Ozark. but real shit that I you enjoy. Try us. Homeless. Homeless man. people playing piano. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I binged real estate videos, but specifically. So does Bart. Yeah, I was just gonna say Bart likes that porn. Yep. But specifically. And the non-porn version. Ranch. <laughs> ranch walkthroughs. I'll watch any That's real estate videos. Is. As long as it's set up. Like, there's like a John Wayne kind of guy with a low voice that's yeah. narrating the whole thing. And then there's like another one that's kind of like um, Samuel, not Samuel Jackson, uh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. And then they have <laughs> Very whole, different. Like, <laughs> the, and then they, they <laughs> describe the property. And then there's like a fucking drone going through like all 200 oh, acres. Oh, and I've been shit. binge watching those. That's, that's me tight. with makeup videos. Do you like the, the, the home shows then? Like um, oh, the like yeah. extraordinary homes? Yeah. Steve and I are so into extraordinary those homes. Those are good. We've Found out there was another season, but then there was only three episodes or four episodes. That's I was weird. like, a three episode got, season. Got bummed out. Yeah. I like the fixing. Oh, we like those it's too. Like, here's a Have you seen the Airbnb home. ones? Yeah, that one's a dope one. Yeah. With the there's like a gay guy and then the hot girl. The that one. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So they, they're they're people that rent out their homes to Airbnb. Yeah. So then the show is they go in and then they like fix it up better so that it's like you're more likely to have it be rent out. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. That's mm -hmm. cool too if you want to like buy investment property and like right. you know what is involved in that. That's so intimidating to me, yeah. like investment property because I'm just like people have like this foresight of like this dumpy ass shack is gonna look like this modern yeah. fucking dope thing and I'm like. That's awesome that they can see that. I, I don't. I don't worry about that. I worry about the type of people that will stay there. And those videos where you can't kick them out. 
Have you seen those? Yeah. Really? Oh. Like, people have trouble kicking out the Airbnb people. Yeah. And they just oh, start they squat. Living. They yeah, they squat. They you can't call the cops. Come. No, because like there's some like sort of there's tension. There's laws, right? yeah. Yeah. It's oh, really so fucked up. Yeah. 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 That's the shit that I that scares me. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna fucking put my heart and soul into this project. I'm gonna make it dope. Yeah. And then someone's gonna fucking party and puke all over it. Ugh. It's like I'm gonna start a business, but then not even provide that business for everyone. I'm just gonna fix shit up and leave it there. That's why taxi cabs get mad when you throw up in their car. <laughs> that makes you sense. You threw up in their car? Yeah, but I was drugged. drugged I think I talked about it before. You did. I was drugged I at a club, that. and then my luckily my cousins were there to like take me, and I was tr already trying to throw it up in the bathroom because I knew I was drugged. Out? Because I only drank half a drink, and I couldn't walk, and I could barely see. Whoa. And yeah. <laughs> you just think you're hurting it for the first time. I don't remember yeah. this at all. Why? And then I mean, She told us like, this. Multiple times. I don't remember this. And you were sitting in that seat. <laughs> I, didn't he I didn't hear the story. <laughs> Maybe I was hosting. No, 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 no. Okay. Multiple times. Oh, sorry. I don't remember that. I, I remember Dude, your whole life. Always on the one. verge of getting raped. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. That's like your That's thing. Like yeah. That's why they call me the miracle man. <laughs> You're the miracle puss. Is what you are. Miracle puss. You always almost get kidnapped. That's like your shit. Instead of in too deep, she's like just mixed, just missed it. Yeah. That's her. Just yeah. missed it. She's the person that walks in the car and goes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Steve says that I Mr. Magoo my way through life. Dude, <laughs> and David's the one that walks. The car goes boom. Yeah. <laughs> David walks into parked cars. Yeah. Da David's walking in the open prairie and a plane goes <laughs> <laughs> But what happens is after I got hit by the plane, somehow I still have my limbs. He's still alive. <laughs> oh, he's injured. <laughs> he's still alive. What the fuck? Where did that come luckiest, from? Luckiest, unluckiest man ever. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so anything more to that story? Oh, well, basically when I knew I was drugged, my cousins were just surrounding me and like, I went to the bathroom, tried to throw it up. Who gave you the today? drink? Oh, you know. uh, or like, someone dropped some, it in your Yeah, drink? yeah. So we had bottle service, but it, our table was in the middle of the club, basically. And it was like um, a booth with a ledge all the way around. And so everyone was setting their drinks on that ledge, oh. but people were walking by that ledge. And some guy was like, dip, dip, yeah. dip, putting fucking yeah. Dip, 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 dip. yeah. And I think a lot of the girls, like, I don't know, were more conscious of their drinks. I never went out. Like, you don't do this shit like this? Yeah, the hand over the drink. Go out. Oh. And so I was only going by to stop by. I'm not a girl and I even know that shit. But I was just going by to say hi really quick and oh, then I was gonna shit. leave because I lived like right down the street. But you and always carry your drink with you. Well, I didn't know. I was 21 and I was very dumb. Uh, and you, I didn't Don't know include the age. Don't include the age. Because you should learn by 15. Just say I was 16. You should learn, by, you should learn by 15. But I was in a club. Just say you were 16. Oh. You should be clubbing I when you're 15. 16. <laughs> I had a fake. I was really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There that's what she didn't know any better. Damn. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. I really don't remember this story. That's wild, because you were right there. I don't <laughs> remember it. So I and the last time you said you didn't remember either. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How many times did she say that? I'm just yep. kidding, I don't know. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if there's ever been like a really ugly girl where you know parents are advising them, and it's like, hey, make sure you take your drinks, and then you have that one ugly daughter, she goes, I always cover my drinks, and the dad goes, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like, you, don't worry about that. That's she, and she's at the club like, She's like trying to, she's like trying to get a She's like, please, please. I'm gonna go talk to my friends real quick, You're and I'm gonna leave my drink here. You're always being your parents. Huh? You're always being nah, your parents. Nah, I don't think so. That, that <laughs> I don't think so. My friend, she was in Vegas, and then, uh, you know how like, your friends try to like, protect you from going out and being like, a hoe and stuff? Yeah. And she was telling me like, those fucking cock blockers, I wanted some dick that night. <laughs> Wait, what were they doing? Those are some weird friends. No, no, she, they were like, like at a club in Vegas yeah. with a group of girls, and then yeah. it's girls' was, night, okay? And then yeah, she oh. wanted to go out with this guy she had a connection with, but she was like the ugly one of the group, oh. and then she barely gets any dick. Oh. So she finally had her opportunity, but all her homegirls like, no, you don't want to do this. Oh, she she's like, like, yeah, I do, Whoa. bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I miss cum. I yeah. miss it. <laughs> and, uh, I just thought that was funny. That is funny. So I had this group, this girl friend that we're not really friends anymore. Good. Yeah, fuck okay. you. Yeah, well, honestly, <laughs> like, she knows. Um, but we used to go to Vegas, and it would always be like, Sophia. very like, girls trip, like it's a girls trip, right? No boyfriends, no nothing. And when Steve and I first started dating, I wanted to go to Vegas with him so bad, but then this girls trip came up, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I have to go with these girls before you. And that sucked because I was like, man, I really want 
wanted to go with yeah, him yeah, first. Yeah. Um, and so I was trying not to hype it up, but I'm like, sorry, no boyfriend. So it was just, it was us. And the whole time, all she wanted to do was go out and find dudes. And she was married with a kid. <gasps> and she was, they were about to have their second, like Whoa. when she got back from that trip. So they were she's like, like, let's go on this cheating trip. You guys yeah. could be my accomplices. That's what happened. Yeah. And then she yelled at me in a casino because she thought I was trying to steal her man. I'm like, I don't even want to talk to guys. I want my boyfriend here. Yeah. I don't even like. I didn't so you guys were just basically used. So she. Could, yes. So she could be like, oh, honey, I'm gonna do this yeah. all girls trip. See ya. Yeah. You didn't want the guys. So to So she come could go get some man. dick. Yeah, and then she was canoodling with him up at the pool. And What's then canoodling her, mean? She was like, cud like, like cuddling, cuddling and uh, yeah. probably like kissing and stuff, whatever they were doing. She's really there. the definition um, of what stays in. Vegas. I was in the hotel and her phone kept ringing and it was her husband like Aww. texting pictures with the kid and stuff Aww. and being like. She misses you. Aww. This is mommy and stuff. I was like, oh my god. And then what a garbage me and my cat. other friend left the, a date early because I was like, I don't want to be here Coming anymore. Yeah, that's there. very sad. It was just us three, and oh, it was three. just supposed to be a girls' trip and stuff. And then was the um, other girl a part of this thing too? She's like, yeah, let's fucking cheat fest. No, no. Oh. Both so you two were kind of yeah. bamboozled into. And we this all shit. had boyfriends, or she had a, the yeah. girl had a husband, and then me and she the didn't other... want any single girls there because then how she exactly? You that's true. It's like yeah. if I was like. Hey, we're supposed to go to the club and pretend like we're single so then we get this ego boost and then we go home and fuck our boyfriends. Yeah. That's very different. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah. that's like if I had my mindset on that and then here's like my homegirls like fucking the shit out of other dudes and cheating and I'm accomplice. Yeah, I'm yeah you feel dirty. Mm-mm. I hated it. I don't like flirting with dudes. If I, if I knew the guy way before I knew the girl that came into his life, right? Mm -hmm. And I found out that the guy was cheating on her, I'd be like, because right. I'm not really emotionally yeah. invested into her. Right, yeah. right. Because he's still new my person. friend, right. yeah. and you're still that new person. Yeah. So if I saw that, and he was like, yo, I'm fucking with this, I'm like, guess you are. <laughs> you know, I just move on. And we had a friend like that, where we didn't like his significant other, so we were just like... It is what it is. Well, see, that's the thing, is that we were friends with them as a couple. Oh. And, like, that's we had so many game part. nights together, and, like, he was a really good guy. She, she, and you didn't know anything about this about her, so it oh, came... Oh, have a kid, it, too, and stuff, right? But it yeah. came as a surprise, because you didn't know this about her. Yeah. Because if she was, like... Telling you like, I'm gonna go there, get some dick, all this shit. Come on, oh, girl, yeah. girls trip. I would never would have gone. Maybe she thought girls trip was like, everybody oh. go get some dick. Yeah. Uh, Maybe it was like normal. Dan, what did you think when I invited you on our girls trip? You're I like, here it. we go yeah. again. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get some dick. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I am ready this time. Yeah, I'm ready this time, I've been married. Quite the opposite <laughs> happened. Yeah, I thought that was a myth. I thought it was a myth that people go to Vegas and then just fuck around. Yeah. What do you mean that's a myth? That sounds very real. So, so innocent. Because no. you could do anything in Vegas. I thought you go there when you're single and you fuck around. Oh, uh, I see. Well, that's how it should be. Yeah. I didn't think you go there to fucking... Oh, wait. I know you cheat on your wife. I told you about that swinger couple yeah. um, that were celebrating their 15th yeah. year anniversary. That's and I had true. no There's idea. Parties like that. We saw that old that. man, that Warren Buffett dude I mean, with the yeah, high class hooker. Okay, good. Yeah. The Warren Buffett guy was good with that. What's the Warren Buffett you guy? The girl with the, she was the, the escort yeah. chick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Blonde hair. When we were getting the car in the valley. Wait, were you there? I don't think she I was. was no, I wasn't there. That's when you took your girl picture without me. Oh, oh. right. She wasn't with us. It was Gina, Jess. The T. Yeah, Why yeah. weren't you there? I thought we were fucking waiting for the van. We she were, Ubered. She we were trying to find you guys, and then I even texted the group like, hey, we're, we're in the Uber line if anyone wants to share an Uber and all this stuff. By the way. No response. They were busy taking pictures without me. Hey, but we photoshopped you in. in I like our, that. In our vlog like thumbnail, that. can't see Photoshop. Did you feel left out? Yeah, and I, I even like feeling left before out. then, I told you, I was like, I woke up this morning feeling like this anxiety, like I don't have any- Oh, cause you missed out on a picture the other day? No, 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 oh. this was before. And oh. I was like, I, I got woke up in like a really anxiety mood because like for some reason, sometimes I think everyone hates me. And I told you that, and then after that, they took the picture without me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That sounds well, really fucked up. Close. It literally wasn't after that. It was right after, so it was before the show. I told you this. We go to the show. Right after the show, they all take pictures. What I show? Also, I, what I do you think is gonna happen, Nikki? They're like, no, we shouldn't take the picture and make this moment last forever because no. Nikki's gonna no, be. No, they here. should be like, we should wait till all the girls are together, Joe. You know how many girls there are? No, but we did. We were like, where's Nikki? There was no text. Nikki. I would have come down I from that room. I you and I showed you the text. And then, and then one of the girls okay, like, maybe you texted me. I did. Someone was like, oh, don't, let's not wait for Nikki. She's gonna take too long. I think yeah, I probably. said that. In my head, that's how it went. In my head, everyone's like, fuck Nikki. That's so funny. That sucks. 
Damn, that that's a nightmare. But I just laughed oh. because okay. it was because of the I irony of it all. Mm. <laughs> I was like, this so, was like you're like, oh, she's, she's laughing like, while she's crying for no reason, and you see it on Instagram. What the fuck? <laughs> They're oh. going this on purpose. <laughs> and then we took another photo, but Gina was missing out of that. Yeah, one. then there was always one girl missing. And you didn't give it's a fuck. To. Yes, like, I did. I tagged like, her. Let's do it without Gina. I was like, she already got one. <laughs> oh, that's right. You already been her by then. <laughs> yeah, she already got that. one. <laughs> Plus, I was the one that was like, let's not take a girl photo without Gio because last year Gio wasn't in the girl photo because she had to go up because Bart was sick. This guy, yeah. Uh, Bart's always sick. He's always I sick know. in Vegas. Stupid. Oh, was he sick last Stupid year? Stupid fucking honest. He went to sleep yeah, early because he wasn't feeling good because he drank. Oh, that's wow. right. That's why you guys missed the strip club. Yes, oh. the best yeah. night of fucking okay. everyone's life. That one was pretty fun. Honestly, I got <laughs> desensitized to boobs. In that. Maybe that's why I don't like Game of Thrones that much, because oh, like yeah. I got so desensitized. You're bringing it back. Oh, wow. Let's talk about Game of Thrones. Well, I like it. And cut. <laughs>